You know what's nice about playing a racing game? You can take enjoyment from the smallest things. You don't need explosions or loot or explosions of loot. Just knowing that you quietly aced that last corner is enough to summon a smile. And you know what's also nice about playing a racing game? They can do the exact opposite thing and go so big that you feel like the greatest driver who ever lived. Because who else do you know who can drive that loop-de-loop -loop so fast or beat Lewis Hamilton in the wet? Or uh, do whatever this is. It's settled then. Racing games are good games. But which are the really good racing games? Well, we can help with that. Here is our top 10. There's no better place to start than with Project Cars 2. It's the most ambitious driving sim for years, setting its sights on disciplines as varied as IndyCar, endurance racing and snow drifting. And somehow, honestly don't ask us how our best guess is that Slightly Mad Studios is staffed by powerful warlocks, somehow it succeeds at the lot. It demands a lot of you and at first those demands can feel frustrating. Then something happens deep within the folds of your grey matter and it just clicks. Eventually, you're overtaking Le Mans prototypes at 200 miles an hour, pulling off Scandinavian flicks and ragging a Porsche around Donington like Jeremy Clarkson would if Donington didn't have such a hardline policy on bootcut dad jeans. Uh, we're getting off track in more ways than one. It's the most satisfying and polished driving sim around and the competitive scene is frankly amazing. Onwards, did your ears prick when we mentioned online competitive racing just now? Well, you'll enjoy this one then. Race Room Experience is a multiplayer focused sim that demands just as much skill and etiquette from its racers as Project Cars 2, but doesn't have as many barriers for entry in the way as iRacing. So there's no monthly subscription fee here, and you can use a gamepad or wheel as the spirit takes you. Just do so in a sportsmanlike fashion. No, we said sportsmanlike, you can't get the drivers these days. Its free-to-play model is a bit restrictive if you don't want to shell out on a load of vintage DTM cars, but Race Room's handling and collision model is first class. Speaking of the latter, contact of any kind will likely ruin the race for both drivers involved, and it turns out that makes people behave quite well online. <coughs> yeah, most of the time. Surprise pop quiz! What's got two more wheels than it strictly needs and thinks an off-road vehicle racing some speedboats constitutes a festival? Correct, your friend and ours, Forza Horizon 3. Set in the gorgeous Australian wilds and letting you run right under the guise that this is all some kind of nationwide spectator event, the third Horizon game is a high tide mark for Forza. The best thing about it is actually lots of things. It's every kind of driving game in one box. Remember boxes? Probably not. If you're hankering for that throwabout arcade racing that Need for Speed used to excel at, it's here. And if you want something more demanding, turn off the assists and it's here as well. And implausibly enough, if you want to drive in a life-size Hot Wheels track, well, that's also here as well. Don't ask us why, just keep the pedal to the floor or you'll fall off that loop. OK, OK, this is a tough sell for anyone who hasn't already played it. But Euro Truck Simulator 2, a game that quite literally requires you to drive the speed limit on continental motorways for 20 solid minutes at a time, is one of the best driving experiences around. Many have tried to describe the game's peculiar charm, citing the empire building management element, the tricky reverse parks, and the fact that you get to tune into local radio stations across Europe as you drive. But maybe that doesn't even get to the heart of it. Maybe, in fact, you're a truck simulator who shoots a rare gas through your monitor as you play, which temporarily changes your brainwaves so that lorries, and everything to do with lorries, holds an almost sinister fascination. It's clever coding, really. Trackmania doesn't get the love it deserves and it's time someone stood up and did something about it. And maybe we will just as soon as we've nailed the gold on this track. Just give us a minute. All right, hold on, maybe one more minute, we'll, we'll catch you up. It's so compulsive and inventive, like no one told the little type what a racing game couldn't be. And it's full of beautiful little touches like customizable buggies and this multilingual countdown. Five, five, go! And best of all, it comes with creation tools, so you can pick up where the devs left off and challenge the world to your own particular strands of grey tarmac spaghetti. Never mind if it's terrible, it's yours, and you can always be proud of that. Codemasters made power slides and muddy Subarus cool with Colin McRae Rally in 1998, so it was quite poetic to see the plucky British studio refined its form in 2015 with Dirt Rally. 
Like its old ancestor, it's the most convincing loose surface racing sim of its generation. And like the 90s classic, it's also extraordinarily difficult. Crashes happen a lot in Dirt Rally, and they're rarely the kind of Michael Bay pleasing somersaults that would suit a slow-mo cutscene. Instead, they're ugly, low-speed spin-offs that ruin race times, bend axles, damage radiators, and strain driver-co-driver relationships. But when you limp over the line with three quarters of your car left, you wouldn't have it any other way. A beautifully crafted off-roader. Right, it looks like Project Cars 2 is safely out of earshot now, so let's introduce that other wonderful racing sim for players of a more hardcore bent. Ladies and gentlemen, Assetto Corsa. The two games have enjoyed a kind of blur and oasis rivalry. Who's the best looking? Who's higher in the charts? Who cares? But they're both a joy, and neither of them pretend to be cockneys or trash hotel rooms. Despite a bare-bones single-player mode, its AI will keep you plenty honest, and it's a mod-friendly platform for a talented community of creators. Coming in from the left field now, here's a game about building a car from scratch in rural Finland during the mid-90s. My summer car is less explicitly about driving than its friends on this list, but for anyone with an interest in the automotive, it's a must all the same. And when we say building a car from scratch, we mean that in the most literal sense of the words. Screwing on cylinder heads, fitting rocker shafts, popping into town for oil, getting in a Finnish swearing match with the local yobos, and later unwinding in the sauna. You know, the sort of usual car building stuff. For its sense of place and daring to be so esoteric, My Summer Car deserves all the plaudits. BeamNG Drive looks a bit like a driving game. It plays a bit like a driving game too, but it's actually a clever disguise. You're looking at an unabashed slapstick comedy title featuring some cars. The damage model is the star of the show here, and in every one of its stages and scenarios, BeamNG Drive is teeing up a magnificent collision. Maybe it starts as a perilous bridge crossing or a high-speed chase, but the result is always the same, and it gives insurance brokers heart palpitations. We've covered Sims, arcade throwabouts, and odes to Finland, but no game on this list sits more happily between arcade and simulation more than F1 2017. Turn all the assists on and you can have a good laugh pad in hand like the F1 games of yesteryear. Turn them all off and you're suddenly drenched in sweat, wrestling your wheel through reluctant apexes and feeling like a pro. However you play though, the presentation and depth are equally brilliant. It's like watching the race pre-build on TV, then teleporting into the virtual seat just before the lights change. And yes, Lewis Hamilton does win everything in the virtual version as well. And that's race over. You can remove your flame retardant overalls now while we all ignore each other in the pre-podium room. Did we get the final classification right? Or are you going to be running to the stewards in defiance? Let us know in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you want to see more like it in the future. Thank you very much for watching.